Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Anti-Mare Dimensions Reality Update video, episode 23. And you can see I actually did some off-camera grinding, a lot of it. And the, one of the big things I did was I actually grinded 10 million Eternities to unlock this reality upgrade, the Eternal Flow. Gain Eternities per second equal to re your reality count. And, well, I'm not going to be able to get it soon. But the other thing is that... I was able to push a lot more eternity points than I thought I was ever actually going to reach. I made it all the way to 24 reality machines with E5841 eternity points, which is crazy. I did not expect to get this far. I thought it would cap out somewhere around E55, 5600 eternity points, but I made it to 24. I could probably push even higher if I waited a little bit, but there's no reason to be waiting anymore because I wanted 22 for basically everything. The other big thing I've decided is that for this next reality, I'm going for Paradoxically Attain. The reason for this is because it's it's just such a powerful multiplier on Tachyon Particle Gain, and this is going to just speed up the dilation phase so much. To do this, I need to get to Eternity without any automatic achievements. So, I'm turning off automatic achievements. And I think it is time to reality. Finally. It's been, like, over a month. Mostly because of my slow gameplay. But I'm gonna make a new reality and start over. Here we go. I'm gonna pick this glyph because of... I just think it's the best overall because I really don't need the Infinity Games thing because I'm getting both Infinity Games anyway. So, yeah, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, bam. Second reality. So, you can see some achievements were gained just immediately. Stuff like, stuff like fake news. One for each dimension, um, and some of the challenge time ones. So I don't, I don't need to do that again. Next, I think the first thing I'm going to do is just start doing this because it is going to be very slow. I am only making about two antimatter per second, so maybe it is time to equip the glyph. I don't know how to do it. I just, I think I just do this. Yeah, and then do I? I can keep the companion glyph because there's, there's no reason why that needs to be gone. So here we go. I got two glyphs enabled. And maybe I'll, I'll just do this. Start getting antimatter. Start getting a second dimension. And then I think it is time to pick my perk. Which I from last episode, I decided to pick this one. So here we go. Remove the Eternity Challenge 5 requirement from Time Study 62. So it's not going to have an effect anywhere yet, but it will start having more and more of an effect. Well, once we get to Eternity, that, that's when things are going to be interesting. Next, I'm going to choose all my reality upgrades. And basically, I can purchase all of these. So you gain... Well, first, I'll, I'll do this. Infinity gain is boosted from Antimatter Galaxy Count. Um... You gain five times more infinities. I want to see what these costs go to. I think I've I've been spoiled for this one. I think it goes all yeah, it goes to 150, which is kind of crazy, but I don't really need infinities anymore. Then there's you gain three times more tachyon particles. Currently one. So this also goes to 60. So that's a let's see, that's a 30 times cost scaling and a 50 times cost scaling here. I wonder what these are. You gain replicanti three times faster. This is also a 30 cost scaling and you gain dilated time three times faster which is also a 30 cost scaling so that's it i have two spare reality machines i don't really know i'm, I'm definitely gonna want to go for at least 50 or at least 13 this time but i think i can go for way more than that so yeah now it is kind of just the usual pre-infinity grind the one thing well, there's a couple of things that are better than before, like rea or before the reality update. First of all, there's stuff like this, the extremely small multiplier to Android dimensions based on time played. There's also the 1.03 times boost to 
achievements or to all dimensions based on achievements or based on what's like three percent per achievement and that was not there before the reality update the other thing are these two achievements that are not reset plus or times four infinity point gain is going to be huge once i reach infinity and the increasing the multiplier for buying 10 dimensions by plus 0.1 is also going to be pretty big the other huge thing at least very early on is this achievement galaxies no longer reset dimension boosts basically this turns galaxies into a dimension boost tier reset so it puts them on equal footing for how much they actually reset so this is going to be interesting once i get antimatter galaxies I, I won't have to go through the whole early thing again so now well unfortunately it is still very very slow at this point the other thing is that auto buyers are unlocked pre-infinity and yeah there's not anything i can do i need an eternity to do all the time dimension stuff i've done all of this stuff i can um and then there's there is the black hole which is a hundred reality machines but i'm i'm not to a hundred reality machines yet so i gotta just keep going like this we can also go look at the automator i'm up to four automator points instead of two but that really doesn't mean anything like I, i'm not really factoring in any of these automator points into what i actually get so yeah there really isn't much i can do it's just buy this stuff hopefully get some get some of these tick speed upgrades get all the dimensions dimension boost will st still reset everything because I don't have the original Yo Dog achievement, or it's, your Antimatter doesn't reset on Dimension Boosts or Galaxies, so that's why that's what I meant by Dimension Boosts are like a galaxy or Galaxies are like a Dimension Boost tier reset. I don't think there's any other things that are actually any of these achievements actually help me. Some, some of these just have no rewards. This one has like all Antimatter dimensions are stronger, but only in challenges. Same with this. So, yeah, see in a bit. Okay, I'm back a few hours later. I've done some off-camera progression. You can see I have five dimension boosts and zero galaxies. And I can, well, I, of course I can just press M. I've unlocked dimensional sacrifice. But the other thing I've unlocked is some of the automation. Not the automator, unfortunately. Just some of the um, dimension auto buyers. I'm also going to get the fourth dimension auto buyer. And... These will buy until 10 every this amount of time. So that will really help speed things up. Although, it's pre infinity It's all gonna suck. So, see another dimension boost. This is, this is basically how the early runs go through. It's very much like how it is done in the vanilla game. Pre-reality, pre-infinity, or maybe with a couple of infinity upgrades now there is something i could do which is very interesting it is challenge eight i'm not sure if this is really the best choice considering how far i am in this run and the fact that when i get a galaxy it's gonna get a lot faster because it's not gonna reset my dimension boosts so there's that and there isn't really anything else I can do to speed the game up so yeah see it in another bit okay i'm back a few hours later and you could see i can get an antimatter galaxy and i can get the tick speed auto buyer so this is the last auto buyer i have also got these turn that stuff to try to see if i could get the um the 99 eighth dimensions achievement but i can't really get that yet so let's do this. Antimatter Galaxy not resetting my dimension boosts. So this should be significantly faster. I hope at least, but we'll see about that. So now the achievements are giving me a 2.258 times multiplier to all the antimatter dimensions. It really isn't that good. Oh, now it's a little more. I got over in 30 seconds. The have your antimatter per second exceed your current antimatter for 30 consecutive seconds. And I can Dimensional Sacrifice to speed things up further, although it's still kind of slow, because I am used 
I have played through pre-infinity countless times. Not e e even if you don't count like any of the resets, like the infinity resets. I've played through the this so many times with so many mods, even a lot of stuff off camera as well. Like I had this playthrough my back when I was in high school. I was just doing a playthrough of it and I it didn't really get very far, but I got I got some more to like, I got to like challenges or something. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm telling you that. The other thing is that even with one galaxy, it actually is a little bit faster. It's 1.145, which translates to like 12.6%. And it used to be, I think, just 12%. Or at least it would round to 12%. And with one galaxy, the calculation was 11.111%. So here is a dimension boost. So it is definitely at least a little bit quicker, but unfortunately, it's not as quick as I might want it to be. Okay, now I'm going to buy 8th Dimensions individually because this gives me the ninth Dimension is a lie. So now I can Dimension Boost again. I'm still not, I'm not quite to the, the E150 first dimension achievement. I also got the boosting to the max. This just makes 8th dimensions 10% stronger, which isn't really that much, but I guess pre-infinity, pre so it's always going to be... It's just going to suck like this, no matter what. While I'm waiting, I can look at this, the last 10 realities. So this took 28 days. I'm not really sure why it says 28, because I'm pretty sure it was more like 35. I... I'm recording this on January 21st, so that means, I don't know how many days, I think 35 since December 17th when I did my first reality. So, there's that, and now I'm just going to wait for E150 First Dimensions to get that achievement. Here we go, there's no point in doing that. And turn this auto buyer back on, do another dimension boost, yada yada yada. And we can Dimensional Sacrifice for a well, pretty decent amount. I'm also noticing it's continuous. It used to be discrete for every order of magnitude, but I guess it's cool that it's dis that it's continuous now. It, it means that's very, very, very slightly better than before. Okay, now I am finally able to reach the second galaxy, and things are going to really speed up now, because two galaxies normally is just... Basically overpowered. I can basically go all the way to infinity without any more dimension boost. Probably because of the power glyphs starting to actually play a decent role as I get bigger and bigger. And just the better um, multiplier per 10 dimensions. So there we go. Infinity. It only took us, I don't know how many hours. We can, we can take a look at this. It took me nine hours. It probably could have taken less, but... Yeah, so next episode, we will do some of the post-Infinity content. I'm getting, I will say, I got four Infinity points instead of one because of the um, snapback to reality achievement. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out.